Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for joining me for today's video which hopefully should be the finished kitchen makeover slash partial renovation. It is more of a makeover really. Now for those of you that follow the home account over on Instagram you might have already seen some of the progress that we've already made and behind me you might notice a few differences from what you might have seen in previous videos where we featured the kitchen. Um, so I'll go through all of those little bits that's already been done in a minute but today is probably the day that I've most been looking forward to and it is day one of the kitchen wrap with cover style. Now they are due to arrive I would say in the next half an hour so I need to be quite quick and give you guys a bit of a rundown and then I'm basically just going to film as much as possible as they are wrapping the kitchen. Okay so this is the kitchen as it stands. Um, so the changes that have been made aside from the floor which obviously has all been taken up uh, and then screeded so that it's all level and that's actually been done throughout the entire ground level of the house so in all the rooms you can see that's been done um, so in here primarily there's been a bit of a shift around with the units so as you will all know as we've spoken about before um, the plan was to reuse as many of the existing units or not as many but the plan was to basically reuse the existing units because this kitchen actually wasn't that old when the previous owners put it in so we didn't want to waste it by ripping it all out which is why we've decided to opt for wrapping. So the biggest difference in terms of units is that all of the units which were up along here have all gone so all of the wall units have gone there was a washing machine in here but as um, we are planning on having a utility in the garage hopefully at some point that has been removed because that will eventually go in the garage so we've popped the drawers in there which were actually over there and then the bin which was there has been moved to here and we have got the dishwasher is still there this is new which is why it's a completely different color but obviously as we're having the kitchen wrapped it doesn't matter and this is a little pull out unit which can just store some sort of useful cleaning equipment which the majority of which will actually go in the utility eventually but because we've got an instant boiling water tap and a filter tap there's quite a lot of equipment that goes with that which is basically taking up all the room underneath the sink here so that's why we opted for getting this little pull out unit just so that we could have some basic cleaning stuff in there for if we needed to use the sink uh, so the tap is new the sink is new i'll link all these items down below in the description box and pop any details down there for anyone that's interested Again, in terms of units over here, we had units all along here, units here and a random little unit up there. Basically, you can see where the paint is, where the green paint is, that's where all of the other units were. Those have all just been completely removed. Here you'll see this only happened last week. This wall has been knocked through a little bit and made wider so that the double doors can go in there and then over here the fridge is actually currently in the dining area but over here the fridge will go in the middle and then we this is a bit of an ikea hack actually we bought two billy bookcases with the black glass wooden doors and this is going to be where all of our sort of cups and dinnerware and vases and bowls and all that kind of stuff is going to go in there and it's all very aesthetically pleasing which is why I decided to go for the glass doors. Now these are all going to be wrapped inside as well because it's obviously glass so we want it all to sort of match with the theme of the kitchen and potentially the fridge is also being wrapped but I have to wait until the guys get here today to sort of discuss through bits and bobs. The island is pretty much the same. Um, oh yeah, the other change is that obviously the grey glittery worktops have now gone and instead we have this lovely, it's almost sort of like a marbled quartz 
can't really explain this kind of effect to it. It's almost like a watermarked marble, uh, watermarked in, in a good way, not in a mildew kind of way. Um, so yeah, that is the progress thus far. Uh, I've painted as well, only partially, so part in this TV area over here. Um, this is all Joanna by Little Green, and then all up in here and in here. Obviously, we still need to change the light fittings, change the spots, change the plug sockets, um, lots of little bits to change. And the plan also was to have a shelf up along here, but to be honest with you, I haven't even started looking at those yet. And then don't really know what's going on with that wall, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. So now I'm just gonna wait for the cover style guys to arrive and then hopefully we can get filming some of this process for you. And this is how we are looking after two days of the cover style fitters being here installing the vinyl. All of the units are done, the kickboards or baseboards, whatever you want to call them. Obviously because we've still got the screed on the floor, the flooring guy isn't coming until next week. So we've got a lot of things like this, end panels which have been wrapped but they can't actually be fixed on yet because they will go on top of the flooring. So here we've got a little sample, a very thin slither sample of the flooring that will be going down. And um, yeah, once that's down next week, the plinth, uh, side panels sorry, can then be attached and actually fixed in place. So for now, they're just temporary. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to pan back over here so that you guys can kind of see the effect of the black. I think we're quite happy we decided to go for black. It was a bold move, but I think it works well, especially since as we decided to remove these units at the top here. Now you've probably seen a lot of detail shots throughout the fitting, so I won't go into too much detail. I'll kind of save a much bigger tour for the final finished kitchen. But this is how we are currently looking for about five days now we're gonna be like this. Now over here, this is a little Ikea hack that we have sort of fashioned and designed. Um, so it's two Billy bookcases and in the center is going to be the fridge which has also been wrapped and I'll show you a little sneak preview of that in a minute although I'm sure it was probably already in the video. So these have all been wrapped inside and then we've also got end panels here and this is a shelving unit which is going to go in the center to sort of bridge the gap between each Billy bookcase and go on top of the fridge. It all sounds a little bit complicated, but we're hoping it's all gonna come together and look fabulous. Now, the reason we decided to go for Billy bookcases, A, because they're affordable, and as you can see, the cover style fitters did an incredible job of wrapping them all in the same wrap from cover style which is the ma14 it's a textured oh i completely missed that then textured well still a little bit dusty textured black wood effect and yes it is textured you can feel like this faux grain in there as well now they didn't wrap the doors which are i've forgotten the name of these but they're the ikea doors which match the billy bookcase Oxberg, that's what they're called, Oxberg doors. And they are actually a really good match for the cover style vinyl that we've had put inside. Um, now we do need to seal in here. So we've got some black sealant. We need to seal the back panel on the back um, because we had a little bit of an issue with fitting that on once it had been wrapped, but it's not a problem. We came up with a solution. And these two bookcases are going to be, because we went for the glass doors, like essentially our display cabinets for all of our dinnerware, nice cups, all of the whole matching set that we've got in the beautiful sort of uh, beigey stoneware color. Uh, the splatter mugs that I also bought from the ceramicist that's local to Kent. Um, called clay so all of those kind of nice things can go on display in these two units so stay tuned to see how this ikea hack pans out and here just in the little dining area is the fridge it's not in an ideal position at the moment just because we need to have it up here so that because it's super heavy so that the flooring can be done so you can't really see the matte black on there as well just because of the light but we did go for a plain matte black, not the wooden effect. So I'll write the reference number for this plain color down below in the description box. And obviously we just left out some of the silver areas. All of these silver side panels will all be covered by the side panels that we've had covered. And obviously we left the glass Insta view door as well. Now, if anyone else is considering having their kitchen wrapped, I honestly could not recommend it enough. And I know that you're probably thinking, well, you've got to say that because this is all part of a paid collaboration. I swear to you, I am not saying that because of that reason. It's honestly, when the fitters finished last night, I just looked at it. And in particular, when I woke up this morning and could see it more in natural light. And I just couldn't believe that this is the same kitchen. Obviously we made our own tweaks, but I just couldn't believe how expensive it looks, how chic it looks, how incredible the finishes, the quality of the vinyl. It's just, it's actually mind blowing. And I feel 
that real sort of sense of pride that this is now our kitchen. Now I've got the sample book here. Now you guys wouldn't get one of these swatch books. These are technically just meant for the fitters. So basically there'll be a link down below in the description box for anyone that potentially wants to get a quote from Coverstyle or a consultation. They are completely free of charge so you can get in touch with Coverstyle and they will let you know where their closest partner is partner being a fitter to wherever you are in the world because it's not just the UK and Europe although those are the most popular areas but I was obviously fortunate enough to get this massive swatch book which I can show you guys you would be able to get swatches from your cover style partner if you have a look on their website and perhaps there's a few but they are chargeable and the swatches that you actually get would be much larger than this they'd be more of a, um, a decent size so that you can kind of see get the effect a little bit more but there's so many different options there's actually over 430 different options and they range from all the different kinds of wood so there's so like pretty much any color of wood you can imagine there's walnuts oaks gray white dark wood black wood obviously which is what we've got and then there are solid colors and there are solid colours in matte, solid colours in gloss, if that is what you desire. There's bold colours, as you can see. And then there's also not so bold colours. There's lots of greys, black, white, all of the basics. And then if you wanted to have your worktops done or perhaps, and it's not just kitchens, maybe you wanna make a dining table or you wanna cover a coffee table or something like that. There's lots of marbles, natural stones. There's terrazzo in here. There's travertine even. So if you wanna go down the travertine route, there's concrete and then there's, if you're feeling extra sparkly and extra extra, there's glitter even. There's fabrics, oh my God, honestly, there are so many. You can see them all in sort of thumbnail form. And there's a few examples on the Coverstyle website. You can also have a look, and I would recommend this, at Coverstyle's Instagram account and have a look through the tagged section. So it's the little area where there's a tag on Instagram because that will show customers who have bought Coverstyle, had Coverstyle installed in their home, wherever it may be. There's a lot of kitchen designs in there so you can kind of see what options some of their other customers have had done. So yes, that's my little obsessive Coverstyle moment over. For now, I'm sure there will be many more, but we honestly couldn't recommend it enough and that is a genuine and very very honest recommendation from us now i'm going to leave this here for now we'll pick you guys back up when we get the floor done right it's been just over a week since i last spoke to you guys and we do have a development to report and that's the floor so we've had three full days of the fitter floor fitter being here and he has completed fitting the floor in the whole ground level of the house we're still a bit messy because today we've got the door guy coming carpenter that's the official term but i'm just going to give you a quick floor tour if you will and so it stretches obviously all the way on the ground floor. There were lots of chops and changes that we ended up doing with the floor from like the original plan, um, which I will go into a bit more detail on uh, Instagram, but it's all done here in the lounge, which I know isn't the kitchen, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. Done here in the ground bedroom and it runs into Simon's wardrobe. And this, which is gonna be a linen closet. The only areas we didn't have done, which we were originally going to have done, were the ensuite and the downstairs toilet, which I have just walked past in there. I actually changed my mind and decided I wanted tiles. But yes, in here in the kitchen, the floor has now been done. We've got the carpenter coming today, who's gonna to start to sort of measure up this doorway because he needs to make the frame for here 
and he's also going to start fitting the other doors on the ground level. So I will show you guys the progress at the end of today. Oh, and I think today also Simon's going to start putting, or we, I'm probably going to have to help, are going to start putting back on the skirting boards, which I was painting yesterday. Had to paint them various different colours. Well, they're not going to go on here because obviously, as you can see, this area isn't painted. That's still something I need to do. Um, but definitely in areas like over here, in the bedroom, the lounge, they can all go on. So that potentially is something that's also going to be happening today and maybe even attaching all the end panels now that the floor's gone down. Okay, day one of the doors is complete and pretty much all the progress is here in the bedroom. So here, the main door into the bedroom, that one is done and hung. All the hardware is black. We don't have the door handles on yet. They're gonna go on tomorrow. Um, but as you can see, these are the solid doors that we decided to go for. And I believe we've got three of these. One for this door into the bedroom. And the reason for that is because if we have guests, we kind of wanted for us to be able to have some privacy in here away from a communal area like the hallway. So we've got a solid door on here. These ones are oak. They're really heavy. I will leave them linked down below in the description box for anyone that's interested, but they're obviously very modern with the vertical line. So it fits in with the sort of mid-century Scandi sort of vibe. The other door, which obviously isn't done yet, but the downstairs toilet, that's also gonna have a solid door for obvious reasons. Now into the bedroom. The other door that's been fitted today is the one that's going into the linen cupboard or linen closet, whatever you wanna call it. Again, no door handle yet, because that's gonna be fitted tomorrow, but it's the same sort of oak door, just because there's no need to see into a linen closet, which I obviously still need to uh, do in there. And I still need to paint a lot of the door frames as well. I painted as many as possible, but a lot of them, we were changing the direction, the way the doors were being opened. So all the holes had to be filled. So there was no point in me painting them before the doors were hung. I'm now just gonna have to be careful. And then finally, and actually the first glass sort of black crital style door that we've had hung is into the ensuite. Now this isn't completely finished. I've still got to paint the door frame in the matching color, but also, what I'm gonna do on here is actually a DIY to give this door some privacy. Now, this is our bedroom, so the reason we went for a glass door is to let in light, but also because we are husband and wife. We've seen it all before. We don't need complete privacy, but I am going to do a DIY to transform this door into a more appropriate bathroom door, so stay tuned for that, that's coming soon. Now this door is completely finished. It's got the handle on there and everything. Although the guy said it was a really weird handle. It's like magnetic, so you don't actually... Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you could see that through there, but basically you don't have to do that. It's magnetic and the thing just, <laughs> the thing, whatever it is, the bit that sticks out, as soon as it comes into contact with the magnet, shoots out and sticks together. Very swanky. Um, so yes, that is the first of our Critol style doors. Now we're gonna have another one of those going into the lounge and also down here, one that will go into the office. But I'm not doing any DIYs on those. They're just gonna stay clear glass. And then that's also gonna tie in nicely with the two double doors and a glass panel that we're having leading into the kitchen. So stay tuned for day two. Whoa. The sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same fights, we won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be young, dumb and free, thought that we never be mean. Hoping that you'll see what we could be before we throw it all away. Forsaking both of us Always thought that we would get it right We've been fighting nine to five Always thought that you'd be by my side Wow 
Well, we're back. And this is the progress. Um, now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I was hoping that this video was in fact going to be a finished kitchen renovation. It is not because we have run out of money. <laughs> We've run out of our budget, which actually isn't as bad as it sounds. It is something that happens during house renovations, but our next budget starts next month. So it's really not that bad at all. So basically, I'm going to end this video with a summary of the kitchen. So here are the double doors that we decided to put in. And this was actually one decision up here that was a bit, not last minute, but this was only decided upon this light sort of, I can't remember what they're called. I think it's a stolen light window. Uh, that was something we only decided once the hole had been chopped out of the wall and we realized how much extra light this top section here let in. So we decided to have that glazed. Our carpenter who fitted the frame got some glass for that and then of course fitted the Critol style double doors and as you can see we still need some finishing on the walls we need all of this making good as they call it I'm going to go through into the kitchen and show you guys what the doors look like from the other side so again we've still got you can see where I've painted up to and on the ceiling as well because we need all of this patching in and then replastering, making good all sealed and whatnot. And then I need to paint obviously over the fresh plaster and I need to paint the frame as well. But just looking down there from in here, you can see how much extra light it lets in in comparison to before. Do you wanna go out, darling? You want to go in there? No? Okay. Um, so yeah, we're really, really happy with that decision of going for these double doors. To be honest, the majority of the time, they're going to be open, but uh, it's a good option, especially in British houses, to be able to shut off spaces, especially when you've got dogs, and also just for heat conservation in winter. If you can leave them open, you can leave them open, but you can also close them. So now the kitchen is pretty much almost finished. We could not afford to buy the long shelf for over there. So that's going to be something that we buy next month. So you guys will see that in uh, potentially another update video. But the kitchen itself, oh, as for the bar stools, we couldn't quite stretch to buy new bar stools at the moment. But, and I haven't also, or we haven't decided fully on which ones we're going for yet. So that's still a decision process in the making but over here our ikea hack turned out very well indeed i'm really really happy with that and actually in a separate video which will actually be once the kitchen is pretty much finished because i'm gonna um, do some storage jars on the shelves over here there will be a separate video showing you guys how i organized the kitchen so how i organized all in these units and how I've organized inside the kitchen cupboards, which I'm not gonna show you guys because it all looks beautiful and you can watch it in that video. But we're really, really happy with how this has turned out. We've got our sort of TV area here, semi, semi set up. Looks a bit basic at the moment, but you know, these things take time to build up. But kitchen wise, I think we're really, really happy with how this has turned out. And I mean, you guys know how we feel about having things upcycled and trying to use things as much as possible. And it's it's a really, really good option. Wrapping is a really good option. If you've got, especially a new, newish kitchen, perhaps you've moved house and it's, you know, it's not quite your taste, which is exactly what happened here. We just did not like the grey gloss. And um, yeah, we're just so happy with how it's turned out. Now, for anyone that has because I know there probably will be quite a lot of you that have cover style questions or wrapping questions. I did a whole Q&A over on Instagram. So 
you can basically go on to the home Instagram account, scroll down to the little circles, those are Instagram stories, cycle along those until you get to the cover style Q&A and you will see lots and lots of questions answered in detail on that story highlight. So if you do have any questions, I will leave all the details for where you can find that down below in the description box. Right, now obviously I just showed you, or gave you a very, very brief glimpse of kind of this area and what we've done over here. There are lots of other updates that I can show you guys. It's little snippets there in other rooms and down into the corridor as well. So what I'm actually gonna do is film a separate ground tour, ground floor rather, update video, which is something that lots of you have been requesting over on Instagram. So we're gonna do an updated ground floor tour hopefully in next week's video so we can show you all the progress that we've made after living in this house for seven months, which is crazy the amount that we've done so far with, of course, some help from some professionals. Um, so yes, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, kitchen refresh, kitchen makeover, kitchen upcycle. Look how sexy they're looking, those units. And thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time.